Hello, and welcome to my review of episode 40 of Dragon Ball Super. So after the Goku and Hit fighting portion of the episode, that was pretty good, it was decent, I mean, it was pretty much the same as last week, a continuation of them fighting. I will say though, I was, there was one shot that looked really, really bad. I, I didn't think it looked good, but besides for that, it was decent. So, but it's mostly just them fighting. There is this one really cool part where Hit smiles, and everybody freaks out. Because everybody's surprised that Hit is enjoying this fight as much as Goku. But there is this one really cool scene where they do a fist bump, and then they like both jump back, like, a good, like, a good, I would say at least, like, 20, 30 feet, and then they charge at each other and continue fighting. Eventually, during the fight, Goku stops fighting and asks Beerus to remove all the rules in the tournament, therefore making killing allowed and taking away the ring out. Now, Goku's explanation for this is given, actually given by another character, I forgot who, that the reason Goku did this is that he wants to fight Hit at full power. And the only way to do that is if Hit can use his assassination techniques, because Hit is an assassin. A hitman. But because he cannot kill, he cannot use those techniques, therefore he cannot go all out. So Goku has to then to remove the rule. Beerus and Chapa start fighting. They're just fighting over this. And it's really annoying to Goku and Hit. They they talk they pretty much talk about how all they are are pawns in the game of Beerus and Chapa. And as they're watching Go uh Chapa and Beerus fight, Goku, who is still in his Kaioken form, I guess, it's not even a form, I don't know, he's, but he's still using the Kaioken, okay? And what happens is, is that he pretty much lets the hit, he, and then he's like, not anymore, we're not their pawn anymore. Goku walks out, walks to the end of the ring, and he jumps out of the ring, disqualifying himself from the tournament, because Beerus and Chapa were arguing over whether or not they should change the rules, because the rules were never officially changed, Goku is disqualified, and Hit is the winner. Now, how do I feel about this? I love it. I, I'll be honest, I like it, because in the end, Goku's not quitting the fight. Think about it. The second Goku got out of the ring, he de deactivated his Kaioken, lost his Super Saiyan Blue form, reverted back to base, and his muscles started like spazzing out. His muscles were like spazzing, and he like actually had trouble moving them. Thick with that, they hinted at way earlier in the episode where Goku was like holding his arm as if it was injured. Now, the reason I liked it is because if Goku was going, could no longer hold the Kaioken, very well that proved for a fact that if he continued to fight Hit, he would have died. Think about it. He, there were two things here going on here. He is just destroying his body, and he's destroying his body, and he can't even fight Hit at full power. What's the point in continuing this? So I'm happy that Goku quit, because there was no point. Goku lost. From what, from the way I see it, Hit is stronger than Goku. You can argue with me all you want about this, but that is my opinion, and it's not going to change. Unless somebody gives me concrete evidence as to why. Goku was unable to defeat Hit. If Goku could defeat Hit, he would have. Now, earlier in the episode, during the Goku and Hit fight, uh, Kaba had, well, when Chopper was yelling at Hit to, you know, defeat Goku, when he, when he couldn't fight back because he was, he was injured or something, well, Kaba pretty much did, well, Kaba stood up for Hit, and Chopper threatened to kill him, but he was stopped by Goku and Hit glaring at him, pretty much telling him if he if he just continued, they were going to interfere. So yeah, he does he can't beat them both. I'm sorry. I do not think Champa can beat Goku and Hit combined, and I think Champa knows that. He, he he was afraid of them. So what happened was he decided to leave Kaba and the others alone, but he did threaten them, reminding them that they're nothing but pawns. Later on after Goku loses, Hit is, Hit is left to fight Monaka. Now I want you to know that this is very important later on. Goku goes back to the uh, stadium, the, 
the seating, whatever you want to call it. Goku will go back to the rest of his teammates. And Beerus is furious. He is so pissed. He's not like to kill Goku pit, but he's not happy. He understands Goku lost, that Goku couldn't win, so he's not mad, but he's definitely not happy. He pissed, more pissed in general, not angry at Goku, just angry. Alright, Chomp of the one that will get angry at his contestant. But, so what he pretty much does is, he pretty much tells Goku, why the hell did you get out of the ring? What the hell are you thinking? And Goku pretty much responds with, we still have Monaka, and he's even stronger than me. Proving that lying isn't a good thing. If, go, if you lie about somebody's strength when you're in battle, you're probably going to get everybody killed. And that is what Beerus did here. Because Goku thought Monaka was so strong, he, he was more willing to give up the fight and step out of the ring because of the fact that he, he in his mind, Monaka would handle it. So you had this guy, Monaka, obviously scared to death. He is clearly weak. He has no chance. When he, he jumps off of the stadium, he doesn't even fly. He just falls and hits his head on the ground. He gets up. He is terrified. The match starts. Monaka charges at hit, punches him, and nothing happens. So there's silence for, I would say, about 10 to 15 seconds. And then... Hit go flying backwards and hit and hit the barrier. Hit threw the fight. What Hit did was throwing the fight. Hit could have easily defeated Monaka. Yet he gave, he let Monaka win. He later on said to Goku, Now we are even. So Champa is angry because Biru won. He's pissed. He's very angry. So he decides he's going to kill his, the people He's gonna kill his team. He's gonna kill all of them. Hit arrives there and tells Champa he no longer wants the cube and he wants to go home immediately. Champa says no and he says he's going to kill them. Hit says I affected something like this and gets into a fighting stance, but you can see on his face he is terrified. Hit cannot beat Champa, which makes me think Goku can't beat him and I don't agree with that, but that's another video. But hit, they're all terrified, but Goku gets, tries to get up like he's going to interfere. Biru tells him no. What he pretty much tells him is, Champa, is it that the people are from Champa Universe? These people are from Universe 6, and Champa, the god of destruction, is Universe 6. If he wants to kill them, that is his right as the god of destruction. You are for, for prohibited from interfering. And you did nothing wrong, but I'm not, but that, but you're not interfering, I won't allow it. So Goku is not allowed to interfere. Before Chopper can, can kill his contestant, a person appears in the tournament ring. That person is Zeno, or in English, the Omni King, as I will be referring to him as. The Omni King appeared with his two bodyguards, and in case you were unaware, I may do a video on this another time, maybe not, I'll talk about it on the podcast. But to put it bluntly, the Omni King, from the way he described, is the ruler of all the universes. He is like he is, he is pretty much the king of the twelve universes. And Beerus and Champa are afraid of him. When he appears, when you see Beerus and Champa are afraid, everybody is shocked, and the episode ends right there. But in the episode preview, we get to see the Super Dragon God. The god of the dragon that is known as Zorama. That's right, we're going to see the dragon god Zorama in the next week's episode of Dragon Ball Super. There's a lot of interesting stuff in the pre preview, so definitely go check it out. This was a pretty good episode. Overall, I enjoyed it. I mean, I, knew it. I really did like it. It, was, it had a lot of very shocking moments. Things that I didn't expect, which is not very common in Dragon Ball. I normally, you know, have an idea of what's going to happen. There are a lot of things in this episode where I was like, had no clue, did not see that coming. But yeah, if I had to rate the episode, I would, you know what? I would give it a 9. Because my only real problem with it, in my opinion, was not getting to see Goku and Hit 
have a full-on fight going all out and see who is ultimately stronger. I know that I said I believe Hit is stronger, but that is still me having an opinion. The fact that we didn't get a definitive winner in terms of who would have won if they went all out does really bother me, and I really demand that we see more of it. And really the fact that I don't know if we'll get more of Hit annoys me, because Hit is amazing, I love Hit, great character. So yeah, I would give it a 9, because we didn't get to see Goku and Hit fight each other at full strength. But besides for that, the episode was nearly perfect. I loved it. But I hope you guys enjoyed my review of episode 40 of Dragon Ball. Please tell me your thoughts on my episode in the comment section down below. I love talking to you guys in the comments. And remember, if you enjoyed the video, give it a lot. Smash that like button. And above all, guys, I want you to have a great day. It's a One Piece Nation, signing out.